Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> the trauma. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Hello, welcome to this video. My name's Dan, aka Lucent. I'm a singer songwriter, and today I'm going to be reacting to the deluxe tracks from Born to Die. Let's go. So, I did my Born to Die reaction a few weeks ago, link, and um, a lot of people were like, Where are the deluxe tracks? And I was like, Oh, bugger. Sorry. But honestly, like her Spotify page is very confusing, okay? So there's Born to Die, there's Born to Die Deluxe, there's Born to Die Paradise, there's Paradise on its own, there's Born to Die Paradise Special. Seriously. <laughs> so this week I'm doing the deluxe tracks from Born to Die and then I'm doing Paradise as a separate video this Friday. So make sure to come back to the channel this Friday for my reactions to all the songs from Paradise. Yay. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to like this video as well if you do like it because then it gives it a really good boost in the rankings and we love that okay let's get started let's do let's do this boom boom smash it out how's my hair look i don't know okay so the first song from these deluxe tracks this is without you let's go oh okay sounds like walking Ooh. everything i want to have mm. wow everything yeah, in the cameras. She's found everything she wanted in the fame. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that made me jump. Ooh. Oh. I'd love me without you. Maybe she's talking about the fame or something. I still love myself. Oh, it's changing from the cinnamon to the vanilla. Hmm. Okay. Stolen images. Oh, okay. I like this. Maybe she's kind of saying that she'll do whatever they want her to do. Interesting. She might be talking about the guy. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. This is cool. I like how the beats change. The pace has changed. Wow. Wow. I could be your channel doll if you like to see me fall. Ah, maybe it's looking back at the relationship and saying that like, you know, now she's found success. She's found a way to love herself without the guy there, you know? Wow. I love the projection production there. It's like, pfft. she's kind of reflecting on how, how, had control over her, you know? She'd become the China doll if he wanted to see her fall, you know? It was like, she was breaking herself for loving him. But now, oh. Maybe not then. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going one way and then I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll finish that thought. So it seems to be like the China doll, if you want to see me fall, fall, it's like, I'll become what you want me to be at the expense of myself. You know, even if it destroys me, even if as a China doll, I fall and I smash, smash on the floor. Maybe she's kind of saying I'm free of that because then she says that she loves herself. She's like, I love me without you, you know? So it seems as if she's kind of celebrating how she got free of this person and it seems at the beginning that she's kind of talking about how much worth she's got from her success as a musician as well so yeah i think that's what it is but then at the end like it seems to contradict that so lana fans who have obviously been listening to this for years please post your uh, interpretations in the comments for me as you know i go and i reply to every single comment so yeah i would really like to hear what what your interpretations are and what she said about these different songs to really fill in the meaning of those songs. I did really like that song. Like there was a lot about the kind of the pace of it. I loved how it kind of shockingly dropped into the chorus. That was quite effective. And the middle eight was really cool because it really switched pace and it made it really feel like it was going somewhere. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Okay, that one I'm adding to my current Bops playlist. If you haven't already, then I have a playlist, which is basically all the stuff I'm listening to at the moment. Um, and if you want to follow that and listen to what I'm listening to, then you can. I'll leave the link in the description as per usual. Okay. Song number 14, let's go. This is Lolita. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. The trauma. Oh. It's like a telenovela or something, isn't it? Wow, the production on this one is quite interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. 
dangerous loving, innit? Wow. There's a lot in this song. <laughs> right, okay. Maybe she's talking about how she knows how to get this guy. You know, she's willing to kind of do it dirty, in a way. <laughs> this is cool. Maybe, maybe she's kind of saying, you know, like, if we kiss in the dark, if we kiss in the park, <laughs> almost saying, I'll be, I'll be your secret girlfriend, you know? I know what the boys are, I'm not gonna play. Maybe this guy is already dating Lolita. And Lana's kind of, you know, almost tempting this guy and saying, I'll, I'll be the person that you cheat on her with, you know? Ooh. <laughs> huh. She's a much more confident lover in this song than she is earlier on. <laughs> yeah, this, she's very headstrong in this song. It's kind of creepy, isn't it? I like that. Just you and me feeling the heat even when the sun goes down. Yeah. The heat obviously being in the bedroom or not. Maybe in the park. <laughs> yeah. Totally a much more kind of confident, like, I'm going to take what I want when I want it now kind of persona, you know, in this song. It's interesting. At points it almost sounds like maybe she's singing from the perspective of the guy in a, in a way. Do you know what I mean? Like when I listen back to that and really dig into the lyrics a bit more, be interesting to see whether that is the perspective. But like, certainly it's about her kind of saying, you know, you can kiss me in the dark, you can kiss me in the park, I will I can be the dirty little secret. We can have so much fun together, but I'll also be in love with you. It's kind of, I'm gonna have everything I want um, but I'm, but I can be that person for you, even if you're dating somebody else, maybe. It's kind of taking a step onwards from Born to Die already with these deluxe songs in a way that's like quite kind of a little bit more manic, a little bit more like dangerous sounding, you know? Whereas like a lot of Born to Die was a little bit more like, there was definitely more of a mellow sense to a lot of Born to Die. Yeah, interesting. You can kind of see her progression here. Okay. Let's go on to the last deluxe song. This is The Lucky Ones. Let's get out of this town, baby. We're on mm. fire. <laughs> Maybe she's dating somebody new. I can take you home. Yeah. She's definitely, yeah, in a much more confident place. She's the one in control of this new relationship, maybe. Oh. <laughs> oh, so she has found someone new. Oh. Oh. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh. oh, I love that. I saw your face and it blew my mind. We're the lucky ones this time, yeah. So she's found someone new. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's not falling for the good guys still though, is she? I guess not sex. <laughs> He's kind of allowing her to be her, isn't he? Whereas the previous guy was very much controlling her. Oh, I love that lyric. <laughs> Ooh. Feels like falling in love for the first time. Well, maybe she is, because the previous guy, I don't know whether it's that's real love, you know. Oh, I love that. Sonically, it sounds like a continuation, doesn't it? Feels like, like almost like a national anthem, an evolution of that. Oh, I love it. Even all the, like, it almost sounds like it's filmed on record, like on tape even, because you can hear the kind of like the artifacts. Oh, yeah, really cool. Aw, oh my god, that's actually like such a like nice finale, isn't it? Like, and now I kind of wish I'd listened to the whole of it the whole way through from the first time. <laughs> the romance in the first album is focused upon this guy who is very controlling, very kind of broken, um, almost like encouraging her to be broken too. It's like a very toxic relationship. But then at the end of, at the end of Born to Die, the main version, she almost manages to kind of find a place 
of peace within herself. And then this EP then actually kind of expands on that place of peace, I think. She's found like a sense of confidence without the previous guy. I think that's what Without You must be about. And then Lolita is her almost like taking her like power and running with it. Maybe not in a good way, but she's taking her power, which is something that she didn't do before. And then The Lucky Ones really seems like a celebration of a new relationship that she's found. And it's almost like through this album, she's healed. She's got out of the toxic relationship and she's managed to find a place of like learning and growth within herself. And then The Lucky Ones is kind of proof that once you're in that place, you can find something so much better. Where she's like, I see your face and I blow my mind. And the stars have aligned because we are the lucky ones. Maybe this time, you know, we're the lucky ones. We found each other. Oh, I love that. So romantic. Like really much more kind of optimistic and much more like healthy. By adding these deluxe songs, she's really like tied a bow. She put the cherry on top of the cake um, in terms of Born to Die because it's that story. And then the kind of immediate development after that story, you know. In the future listens, I'll be listening to the whole of the deluxe edition in one go. Um, <laughs> I'm looking forward to digging, digging into those new songs and really kind of like taking them apart. But obviously, if you have any details about those songs, please let me know in the comments. That is my favourite thing about doing these reactions is that everybody is like, actually, Dan, everyone's actually really nice. They're like, I really respect your interpretation, but <laughs> this is kind of what she said it's about, but also this is kind of the consensus. Um, so yeah, like, please do that once again. I really appreciate that. I reply to pretty much every single comment, even the rude ones. <laughs> I usually put an emoji like, mm. <laughs> If you like that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And of course, like this video if you liked it. Don't forget that this Friday I will be reacting to Paradise, the EP the last of the kind of born to die era. So make sure not to not to miss that reaction this Friday, 10 p.m. I'll be doing a premiere once again and I'll be in the chat and in the live chat. We can have a little chat. We love that. I'm having so much fun with those at the moment. Cool. OK, let's stop chatting around because I've got another video to film after this. Thank you for tuning in to the end. I will see you on Friday. Cool. Bye. <laughs>